about is inter-Asian relationships. Um, a lot of people talk about a lot of people talk about, especially Asian American guys, they like to talk about uh, Asian girls dating white guys uh, because this pairing, white guys and Asian girls, you see a lot more than the other way around, which is Asian guys and white girls. And this happens no matter where in the world. It happens in Asia, happens in Korea, happens in China, happens in America, in Canada. Everywhere you go, you will see more white guys with Asian girls than the other way around. And uh, a lot of people talk about, a lot of Asian American guys like to talk about this because they think that uh, white guys are stealing all their women. And um, then they get butthurt about it and they complain about it and they don't really do anything about it. The thing is, um, women, women respond to guys who are confident. And I just don't think Asian guys are aggressive enough to get the girls that they want. Um, like white girls, for example, respond to guys who really, I think in general, women just respond to guys who are more talkative and humorous and uh, say confident about themselves, a little bit aggressive. Um, and I have to say that white guys are generally just more aggressive and talkative than Asian people are. Um, Asians more reserved and shy and quiet and you just not you just can't get as many girls when you're like that then if you're a white person you're more outgoing you're more talkative you talk to girls more um, of course you're gonna get girls easier right if you're like that so so yeah like that's why there's more white guys with Asian girls than the other way around because it's, it's it is partly because of Hollywood because of the Hollywood influence but it's not only that it's also because uh, because white guys are more aggressive that's what I think um, and I used to care about this topic a lot because, well, because I was young and <laughs> and um, I was like, well, why is this happening? Why is so many Asian girls are white guys, but not the other way around? But uh, now that I'm older and more mature, I don't really care about this topic much anymore. I don't really care about it anymore because, well, because I realized that it's uh, it's how you make of it, you know, like. Like, if you do something about it, if you're confident and stuff, and humorous, and you don't have to be that good looking, but if you're just talkative, humorous, and uh, confident, you can get a white girl, you can get an Asian girl, you can get, like, any girl. We, women respond to basically the same things, right? Um, so, yeah, if you're just that kind of guy, then you can get those type of girl. It doesn't matter if you're Asian or white. Um, also, it's mostly Asian American girls that are um, that they're talking about because those girls t speak English well. They're uh, got American, you know, uh, culture in them, so they get along pretty well with American guys, with white guys. And to me, they are just American girls wrapped in an Asian kind of skin. Um, Asian American girls. This depends, but like for a lot of Asian American girls I met, they are kind of whitewashed and. Uh, to me, they are just American girls. They're just white girls with an Asian skin. So that doesn't really... I mean, I don't really care much about it anymore because their personalities are totally American and I'm into Asian Asian girls like from Asia. I guess Asian American people would call these fobby girls. I guess I'm into fobby girls, aka Asian and Asian girls. And I don't really care much about Asian American girls because their personality is not really Asian. So as I grew up and traveled to more Asian countries and got more mature, I don't really care about this topic as much anymore. Um, so that's my opinion on that. I'm more interested in Asian cross-Asian relationships because I'm a Chinese person, well, Chinese ethnicity, um, and I'm interested in Korean girls. And you don't see as many of this pairing. Like, you don't see as many um, inter-Asian pairing as much as you see um, the interracial pairing. Like between like white guy and Asian girl, you see more of those than you see like say a Chinese and a Korean girl, right? So um, yeah, this is really interesting because I think the reason why there isn't as many inter-Asian relationships and why it isn't talked as much is because in general, the Asian, Asian people, uh, Asian Americans may be different, but they're more or less, as I said, American. So they hang out with each other a bit more. But for Asian Asian people, the Fabi Asians, they hang out with themselves. Like Chinese hang out with Chinese, Koreans hang out with Koreans, Japanese hang out with Japanese. And because of this, because of this uh, exclusiveness, they don't really have a chance to interact with each other. And they have some uh, misconceptions about other Asians. And um, I know this because I hang out with, well, I hung out with uh, Chinese people, I hung out with Korean people, and they have misconceptions of each other. And um, that's why, um, they're not likely to date from uh, 
from each other from each other's groups they're only dating from within their own little groups because that's all they know and they're they don't really know uh, about other Asians that well they have misconceptions and they only have a chance to meet like other Asians like I have a lot of Chinese friends who never even met a Korean girl like they have no idea what Korean girls are like and I have Korean friends that never met a Chinese so that's why um, I think there's not as many inter-Asian relationships plus with the fact that Asian guys are kind of shy in the first place they aren't likely to ask out women from another Asian race um, because well they're gonna be shy and they can't speak the language like a Chinese person um, I think Chinese guys personally you know I think Chinese guys are good for Korean girls but the average Chinese guy is gonna be like well I don't know Korean and I'm shy and I don't know how to talk to Korean girls I can't meet Korean girls so that's why um, there's few, so few pairings between Chinese men and Korean girls. I think it's a little bit more the other way around. Korean guys and Chinese girls just see a little bit more. And I think that's the influence of Korean dramas and also Korean guys being a little bit more aggressive. Um, that's why you see a little bit more the other way around. But anyways, in general, you don't see many inter-Asian relationships uh, because the guys um, are basically very shy and they don't know the language. Like you, you would have to know like Chinese, Korean, Japanese. Me, because I studied Korean, I know Korean, I can talk to Korean girls, but for other Chinese guys, um, probably they don't know much Korean and they're too shy to talk to, to Korean girls if they get to meet a Korean girl at all. So, yeah, um, that's uh, my, my uh, understanding of why there isn't as many interracial uh, relationships. Also, because white people are more open-minded, they're willing to try new kinds of relationships. Asian people, I find a little bit more closed-minded about their own race and because of the Hollywood kind of factor that's why they're more willing to date white people because um, well because they're influenced by that so yeah that's why they're I think there's more white Asian relationships than, than uh, Asian to other Asian relationships and I often get asked you know as a Chinese person why do you like Korean girls why not Chinese girls and it's a little bit weird, weird to me because I was born near Korea I was born in um, Liaoning province which is very very close to North Korea uh, and I have a similar background because we're, I'm Asian and Korea is, you know, part of the Asian diaspora. Um, and yeah, why do I have to like the race I was born into? Like, people can like whoever they want. <laughs> you know, I just happen to like Koreans. I don't have to like Chinese. Um, and I don't think white guys who date Asian girls exclusively who have yellow fever, I don't think they get asked the same question like, why do you only like Asian girls? I mean, do do they get asked that? I don't think so, right? Not that much as, you know, despite the fact that I know um, quite a number of my white friends who do date Asian girls exclusively, I don't think they ever get asked why they only date Asian girls. Whereas me, I get asked why I date, like why I like Korean girls. I'm Asian and we have similar backgrounds. So, you know, why is it such a surprise that I like Korean girls? And, you know, white people who have, you know, the Westerners, they have a different culture than Asia, and it's quite a big gap, actually, culturally. It's a much bigger gap uh, between them and Asia than between me and another Asian country like Korea or Japan. So I don't know why they don't get asked that question, but I get asked that question. So anyways, yeah, that's just what I find weird. Oh, yeah, and another thing I want to add is uh, Asians are kind of racist. Uh, and this kind of makes the inter-Asian relationship kind of hard as well because like I said, Asians kind of have misconceptions against each other and they also have misconceptions against Americans and uh, Europeans and the Western world. Um, because there's not a lot of white people in Asia, they have um, these conceptions that they have from watching Hollywood and those kind of movies and uh, they get the wrong idea basically um, about how white people are. They think that, oh, all white people look like like Brad Pitt or they look like uh, Chris Evans or look like Tom Cruise you know because they, they don't get to see white people every day so um, that's another reason why you see so many uh, Asian girl white guy relationships not only because the white guy is more aggressive but because the Asian girl has this fantasy about white men and the white guy has a fantasy about Asian girls so it kind of comes together uh, in that sense so uh, they attract each other in that sense um, they both have fantasies about each other so that makes it really easy and um, yeah, generally, if you're a white person and you go to Asia, then you basically have not, uh, you basically have a very good time or easier time than other people picking up girls because of that, um, that factor, um, the uniqueness, the exotic factor, for the same reason why Asian girls are considered exotic in the U.S. because you don't see them that often in some cities, in the, like in the Midwest, for example, then uh, in white people, 
have the same exotic factor in Asia and um, they have that novelty factor. So it, even if you don't know Korean, if you don't know Chinese, you can get away with not knowing that, not knowing about the culture and you get still get treated pretty well in Asia, I'd say. And you have a pretty easy time meeting girls, I'd say. Whereas uh, if you're an Asian person, an Asian American guy or an Asian Canadian guy like me, going to uh, Korea or China or Japan, then it's not as easy because they expect you to know the language even though I'm not uh, Korean, they still expect me to know Korean because I'm Asian looking. And they speak to me in Korean and uh, even if I'm like decent at Korean, they're not really that impressed by it. Whereas if I'm a white person I can speak Korean well, well then that's very very impressive for them. Um, even though it's actually not that much uh, different from me learning Korean and a white person learning Korean, we're both learning that language but it's more impressive for a white person than for me because of this uh, discrimination I think that Asians experience so that's one other thing I like to point out it's it's generally just much easier for white people um, in Asia black people and Mexicans have a little bit harder time than white people because of uh, again because of discrimination uh, because of some uh, racist uh, kind of conceptions um, but yeah generally I'd say white people have the best uh, time in Asia and then black Mexicans while they're considered foreigners of course uh, they're not treated as well as white people and then other Asians like me we're just treated just like um, just like we're part of their race except we can't speak the language well then we're not really accepted and then we're not really part of their race so um, yeah it's kind of <laughs> I think I'd say it's more difficult for uh, us Asian um, Asian Americans or Asian Canadians or other kind of Asians um, in that country but the opposite is not true. If an Asian person goes to America and they can't speak English well, then they're not accepted. And it's it's kind of different in America because in the U.S. and um, to a lesser degree Canada, they expect you to speak English. And if you don't expect if you don't speak English well, then they kind of look down upon you, and they just think yo you're some um, foreigner that's kind of like weak or dumb and didn't know the language and stuff. And yeah, it's different. If you go to Asia, you don't know the language and you're white, then they're they're pretty accepting of that. But if you're Asian, you come to US and you don't know English, then um, they don't really accept you. And it's like, oh, you, sh you have to learn English because uh, you're Asian. And this is the reason I don't have a English name, actually. I prefer just having my Chinese name because like, well, we have to make an English name for ourselves. But like, why? You know, like I, I realize that English uh, is a popular language, but why do us Asians, we're forced to have an English name, we have to learn English in order to be accepted, whereas a white person doesn't have to make an Asian name when they go to Asia and they feel accepted in Asia. It's it's a double standard, you know, it's, it's not really fair. So, um, yeah, anyways, uh, us Asian Americans, I think, or Asian Canadians, I think we have the hardest time. Uh, if we go back to our own country in Asia, then we still not get, don't get accepted because we can't speak the language well and they expect us they expect us to speak it well and if we go to America then they think we're a foreigner because well we don't like look like a, like an American or like a Canadian or whatever so yeah it's kind of a uh, it's kind of bad both ways <laughs> so I say we have like the hardest time um, when we're in between cultures like that but I just want to add that that's my personal experience um, yeah, Asians are racist. Americans can be racist as well. Um, and Asian Americans probably have the worst. <laughs> but yeah, that's it.